Okay, so in this step, we are going to be talking about meal preparation. And I like to get all of the ingredients out um, that I can. Um, some ingredients need to stay in the fridge, obviously, until it's time to use them. Um, and I like to prep them all and get them cut and everything first before I start doing all the mixing, because then I can just grab and go. So we're making Italian cheese stuffed meatloaf and butter cinnamon glazed carrots. <laughs> Um, I don't have all the ingredients for this uh, meatloaf. It's actually uh, a quick substitution that we had. I have most of it. Um, there's just two ingredients that I don't have that won't be going in the stuffed meatloaf. Um, but let's see if there's anything else. Oh, um, I need my prep bowls, and I cannot stress enough how handy prep bowls can be. Um, when my wife first got them, I was like, what the heck do we need prep bowls for? But sure as crap. I use them all the time now. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is try to get a little bit organized here um, and put some of the ingredients towards the back until I need them. Okay, so I need two eggs and I'm using the, um, like I had mentioned in that other video, I have the egg organizer thing for my fridge, which is very handy to have. So I need two eggs. And then put it right way, right away. So that I have space. Okay. And then I need let's see, two eggs. I got the turkey thawed, the ground turkey, uh, two cups of soft French bread crumbs. So I will get, um, I don't have a big enough prep bowl for that, and what I normally would use is dirty, so I will just substitute something else for now. We'll just go with a regular bowl. Okay, so here are my crumbs, and I need two cups worth. I have everything right above me so that I can just open my cupboard, and it's like a little meal prep office. Okay, there's one cup. And we said two cups, right? Yep. teaspoons of dried basil. So we got our basil. And I will just go for a half teaspoon so I'm not dirtying multiple things and just do three of those. Then we need, and sometimes I like to see if I'm mixing herbs so I can put them in the same prep bowl. Parmesan cheese, basil, salt, pepper, yep. So then I need half a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of pepper. Oh, this is an eighth. Ooh, that was loud. This is, so I'll need two of these. Okay. Then four cloves of garlic minced. Thank you. 
four cloves of garlic. So we're done with this. Remember that with a knife, it's not a chopping motion. You're technically not chopping vegetables. You are slicing. And you're going basically in a circle. Um, so, except for these, since the, well, they do say minced. Not, uh... showing off my skill, my knife skills tonight. Although I will need to with the carrots, actually. Okay. Sometimes, if you're not feeling, um, if we're having to deal with garlic mincing and peeling and all that fun jazz. I did find, and I've used it, um, garlic paste works well. That is always an alternative. show you actually. So just a garlic paste and I think it's one uh, teaspoon of this equals one clove of garlic. So very handy to have on hand when you're just not feeling chopping. Okay. Then we need one can of eight, eight ounces. Well this is 24 ounces. So I'll need to measure out a cup. Of sauce. Now it says pizza sauce, but I'm just using marinara because I prefer that. So there's that. One and a half cups of provolone cheese which I don't have provolone, so I'm using up some Asiago and some mozzarella that I have. So this is one and a half cups, and this is eight ounces, and this is about, so I should be able to use all of this, actually. Okay, I think we're ready. I didn't even use this one yet. Oh, no, wait, gar Parmesan. I have a cup of Parmesan. I knew there was a reason why I had that one out. it up first. Ooh! That's what I was trying or attempting to loosen up there. It's just gonna come right back, isn't it? Here. Here. 
All right. Now, I'm actually just going to leave that in there. I don't even think I need to use that. Okay, I think we are ready. So I'm going to set this aside. Okay, first thing is we are supposed to line it with foil and cooking spray. see in the bowl, but okay stir in the ground beef breadcrumbs, the Parmesan cheese, the basil, salt, and pepper, the garlic, and, and what did I say? Oh, a half a cup of that. Okay. So I need to get my garlic press. blender for this <laughs> but my camera is currently sitting on it so that's not going to happen but that would have well combined this 
for me. We got lots of chunks of meat here. Also, it calls for one and a half pounds, and I did two, so it's a little more than I was probably supposed to have. And then, what do we do until I my on order to fall shape the beef mixture into a 12 by 10 inch rectangle? Okay. Do some cleanup here for this next part. white as combined as it probably should be. But there is a lot of meat in here. And I know I probably should be using my hands to really mix it. My wife totally would, but that's just not me. That's gross. Okay. Now, another foil. <sighs> A large sheet of foil. Get this. <laughs> just put the cheese in here. Mix it all together and just do a loaf and be done. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I don't, still don't want to do it. Gonna use my hands. I was like, nope. I don't wanna use my hands. Okay, I need this thinner, I think. Because this is not quite. Let's see. What do we have for size? at 10 oh we're longer which is fine actually because there is a lot more meat in this so did it say a square yeah a rectangle so let's try to clean these edges up then Thank you. 
feels a little more, but... <sighs> Starting with one end. Top of the provolone cheese. So it wanted me to use bell peppers that I didn't have and some olives. I think though, I'm gonna put some mushrooms in with this. I think that would be good. To kind of give it a little filling here. Improvising on the spot. Sometimes you just need to do that when you're out of an oven, out of an ingredient. Okay. It said starting with one ten side roll up. get it to there, but yet still keep the same size down. Isn't this just an interesting I did not want to touch this. Okay. <sighs> okay. Now, Take 40 minutes. Alexa, set a meat loaf timer for 40 minutes. Meat loaf timer, 40 minutes, starting now. So I realized that I forgot to kind of end my um, kitchen prep video. I have a buddy with me today. Um, 
so you didn't get to see the finished product, but it was good. Um, yes. Are you mad that I'm talking? Interrupting your sleep? Um, but I, everything went off, off without a hitch and cooked perfectly. So, um, I wish I would have taken pictures and I could have posted that instead. But, um, thank you for watching this series and I hope that everything, um, works out well for you. If you have any questions, you can comment on any of the videos and I will try to respond as soon as possible. Um, with that. So thank you. And I'll see if I get any other ideas for more videos or if I notice something else that might be helpful, I'll do a little tip.